Hey everyone, don't know what to do with that delicious eggnog that everyone has in the refrigerator for the holidays? I'm going to tell you what to do. We're going to make some eggnog french toast and it is phenomenal and so easy and really healthy. So what we want to do here is preheat our griddle, go ahead and put them on about medium, just like that. So while we're doing that, we're going to get all of our ingredients together. We're going to use about one and a half cups of eggnog, which I love. One and a half, you can do more. It doesn't, this, it doesn't have to be an exact measurement or kind of throw it in there. All right, so now we're gonna also add four eggs. And also to kind of highlight that eggnog flavor, we're gonna do some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some vanilla, all the things that are in eggnog. All right, so one more. So now we are going to add some vanilla. We're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. I love vanilla. Make sure it's good vanilla too. We're going to add some cinnamon. Just like that. This is a special treat for maybe, I don't know, Christmas morning or the kids are waking up or you're having company over. You can make this in advance and then just put it all together when they get here. So now we're going to whisk this together. We're going to soak some of our bread in here. Now you can use any kind of bread you want. I like to use French bread. If you want to use like challah bread or any other kind of egg bread, use whatever bread you want. You want to go healthy, you can use whole wheat bread, multigrain. Does not matter. It smells like heaven, by the way. If it wouldn't be inappropriate, I wouldn't drink this. All right. So that looks beautiful just like that. We go ahead and just put our bread in here and let it soak for a minute or two while that heats up. I like it nice and soaked up and all that mixture. You can also do baked French toast if you wanted to do that. Kind of layer these and put that on there. And then right in the morning, just bake it. That would be delicious too. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead, like a minute, let them soak for about a minute on each side. Just like this. Beautiful. Now, over here, the griddle's starting to get a little hot, so we're gonna turn it down to about a medium low. And now, we're just gonna take a stick of butter. This is a great trick, so you don't have to get your fingers all messed up. Mmm, mmm, love that sound. All right, so these are ready to get put on. Oops. So we're gonna let them cook. That smells so good. I'm not even gonna believe it. And this is a great thing to do if you want to make like a big batch of them. You're having the whole family over. Great holiday treat. Alright. Gonna wash my hands and flip them. Alright, so now these are looking beautiful. Don't want to make sure they get oh yeah. That looks delicious. Egg non French toast. Perfect for the holidays. And then on top of it, you know, eggnog is delicious, but it's not super sweet. So we're just gonna add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of snow, some powdered sugar. All right, one more minute on this side, and then we have some delicious eggnog French toast. All right, these are looking delicious. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on here. Oh my gosh, this looks like heaven. And then everyone can just dig in. Show you what I'm gonna do. Just do a little powdered sugar on the top. Yum! Do a little powdered sugar for a little snow. Just like that. As if it can't get even more delicious. And then you can just serve it like that and people can get whatever they want. Eggnog French toast, easy and delicious. Happy holidays. I hope you like it.